So it's like which set of quantum numbers cannot specify an orbital? So let's break this down. A here is n equals two, uh, l equals one. Uh, this here is m, I'm guessing ml. No, 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 so actually no, that's it. And then it's b, sorry. I, I, b here is n, three, and 12. n, three, 12. I don't know what they're trying to specify here. This formatting is kind of weird. B here is, I'm guessing it's n equals three. n equals three. And maybe L equals two. And then they wrote uh, one instead of L. Okay, I'm gonna, I think that's what they did. Because they said one equals one here. Right? So I'm assuming that's an L. So I'm going to say L equals two. And then M, I guess ML here would equal zero. C, or, C I have n equals three. L equals three. ML equals two. D is I have n equals four, L equals three, M L equals zero. So exactly the same thing we're doing. Remember, my n's here are my qu principal quantum number. My l's here to specify the what orbital it belongs to, and the ML uh, specifies what subshell. So let's look at this one here, the first one here for a n equals two, and L equals one. Right. So if L equals one, I have I am in the s orbital, and n equals two means I have uh, uh, something. Um, I have a I have a, I have a, it's in the second row, right? So I can draw out my electron configuration for this one here. I have one S two, and then I'm gonna have two, I'm gonna have two S, two S two, right? So this uh, this here specifies, these two quantum numbers specify that I'm in, currently in the one S two, two S two, two S two solution. So this is good. So my A here is uh, correct. So it does specify an orbital. It specifies two, the 2s2 two orbital specifically, right? So N here is correct, which means it cannot be my right, my answer. So this here is my uh, wrong answer. Because it's asking what, which set of quantum numbers cannot specify an orbital. Uh, if I have here N equals three, L equals two, and ML equals zero, that means L here, it's SP, right? So I have a, it's, it, the, this is in the P orbital here. Uh, ML means that it's the second subshell, right? If P equals um, if P equals two, that means I have um, if P equals two, my ML I have a five different I have five different um, sorry it's not P it's actually a d orbital sorry this here is a d orbital remember P is uh, P here is oh shoot this P here is one sorry S is S is zero sorry this here is a P orbital my bad. So this here would have stated, not this one here, this would, would have stated a two, it would be 2p6. 2p, and then I don't know what number here is. It could be one through six, but either way, I'm gonna write six here. Um, but either way, it's still, because I don't know what the ML number is here. If we assume it's uh, between negative one, zero, and negative positive one, it would de de then specify the, spe the specific subshell. So, but in this case, it's still, uh, it still corresponds to a orbital here. So this here is still fine, uh, 2p6. Sorry about that. I don't know why I thought it's an S. Uh, that's my fault. Um, uh, L equals two, which means I'm in the D. So S, P, and D, D orbital. So this here is a D orbital. But S, P, D, F here, right? And the M, L equals zero, which means it's right in the middle, right? So if I have five, remember the D orbital is bought, is uh, split into, f it has a maximum of five electrons. And this, it's pointing to uh, this orbital here, right? I have negative two negative one, zero, one, and two, right? So the ML here is, is, is uh, equal zero is this electron, uh, this specific subshell here. So let's write out the, uh, let's write out the uh, electron configuration. This is one S2, two S2, two P6. And then I have three S2 and three P6. I have four S2 and then this is three D here, right? Three D and this here would be three D six, right? Cause I have one, two, three, uh, uh, I have, it's it's part of uh, the the third shell here. So let's see. So let me, uh, let me, let me fill that out here. So this is, this could be one, two, and three here. So it could be either, uh, this here could, this electron here is the third electron. Right? So third, it's pointing to the, exactly the third subshell um, for the, uh, the D orbital here. So this is 3D3. Okay, sweet. And then, um, uh, let's look at C here. So C here is n equals three, L equals three. So if L equals three, we're in the F orbital, right? And ML equals two. So in the F orbital, we have, uh, we have quite a bit of, uh, we have quite a bit of uh, variance here. We have actually 16 different, uh, things here. So we have, if ML equals two, uh, um, then, uh, sorry, if L equals three, then I have 
uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I have seven, right? Because the four, 14 is the maximum amount here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Where, and this can range from, this is negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, and three, right? Okay, that's the D overall. So let's write out the uh, electron configuring for this one. So I have one S2, two S2, two P6, three S2, and then this is three P6. And then I'm gonna stop here because it's uh, my principal quantum up here is n equals three, but if l equals three, it's referring to the f block, right? And the f block doesn't start until uh, the length 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 of nines, right? So let me show you what I mean by that. So the f block um, doesn't start until here, right? Until uh, this block here, because this here is a quantum number it would be equal to six here, right? Because this here is um. Uh, this here is on the sixth row. It goes six s two, and then it goes into this block here. This would be a four d, sorry, four f fourteen, and this here is five f fourteen, which means this here cannot exist here because n equals three here. It, n would have to equal six here for me to get an f block, which means c here is my correct answer because it is the wrong answer, right? So this here is wrong, which means d is also wrong. So c here is my correct answer, and let me prove to you that n equal is wrong as well. So I have n equals four, l equals three, which we're which means we're in the also in the p block, and ml equals zero. So we're looking at the center block here. If n equals four, then I have this is one s two, two s two, two p six, three s two, three p six, four s two. This would be three d ten would be next, and then four s six, and then we have five s two, four d ten and then 5s6, and then we have 6s2, and then now we finally jump into the uh, 4f block. This would be 4f, and then this would be the block here. So mf, ml would be at here, so it would be 4f10, which means my principal call number here is four is correct here, right? Um, and then this here, l is in the f block, and ml here equals zero. So if I, again, to verify my answer, um, I have 1s2, one, one 2s2, two, 2p6, two 3s2, two, two 3p6 three two, three here. And then if I were to keep drawing it, I would have 4s2, and then I would have 3, uh, 3d, uh, 3d10, 3d10, and then 4s6, and then 5s2, and then 4d10, and then 5s2, and then 6s2, would give us 4f and then something, right? So again, if it's 4f, this here n equals 3. 3 is not 4, which means this here is, it cannot specify this orbital here. So c here is the correct answer. So again, I have a really big block of uh, questions here. They didn't really break it down in terms of electron configuration. So let me write, let me read this. So it says a, the four quantum numbers are explained as uh, I think I'm not going to read this part. It's just a wall of text. The formatting is really bad here. I'll say C when the possible values are represented as the value is not possible when therefore the set of three column numbers of is not possible. I don't understand the solution here. I, they, they just gave a definition and then they didn't really explain the logic behind it here. Um, so correct answer but you simply just define what uh, the what the variables mean, like in terms of principal, principal quantum number. Uh, we have the uh, orb, uh, angular momentum, uh, uh, magnetic sorry, magnetic quantum number, spin number, etc. Uh, there is no logic to how you got C as the answer. So I'm going to write my logic here. Uh, C is the correct answer because, because uh, the F block, because the F block starts at, uh, at N equals four, not at, not at N equals three. There's no such thing as a three F block. It's always four F and then it's five F after. Cause I have the length of nines uh, as the four F here and the actinides as uh, the five F block here. The three D 10 block here starts here though. This is three D, three D 10, right? And then this is four D. And then this here would be four F and then five F as well. So uh, that's, so that C is the correct answer because F blocks out at n equals four and not at n equals three. So that's right. So I'm gonna say solution is correct, but the logic here 
is uh, very, very flawed here. Uh, so that's unfortunate. I, there is an image here, but I don't know. If, I don't know if that, uh, I think it just says uh, what this is, uh, what the question here states as. So I'm gonna say solution here is correct. Thank <laughs> you.